Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Just realized my microphone's not plugged in. Hang on. Let's uh, take care of that. How are you doing? All right. Hopefully now you can hear me a little bit better. Sorry, I'm a little bit late tonight, but I'm here. Yay. And you're here. Fabulous. I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to my craft room. Come on in. Grab a beverage. Relax. We're going to do some uh, creative inspiration tonight. Um, I just got back from California. I went to the Stampin' Up! On Stage convention. So On Stage is the uh, convention that any active demonstrator can attend. And there was a live uh, version in Vienna, Austria. And then there were five different uh, locations in the United States we could attend, as well as two in Australia, one in New Zealand, and several in Canada. So I attended the Anaheim, California um, event. Now I live in Minnesota, but California is warmer than Minnesota in November. And I thought that was a good idea. So uh, I went out with some uh, uh, team members, a room with my teammate Kelly, and we had a ball. We packed every minute. Uh, so besides the conference and the leadership um, gathering that we had Friday night, we went to Disneyland all day on Friday, went to the, the uh, leadership event, then went back to Disney after the event and uh, snuck in a few more hours and had our full all day conference on Sunday. Saturday, um, had a lovely team uh, dinner with some of my other teammates that were there in Anaheim at the Cheesecake Factory. And then on Sunday, we had an Uber pick us up at 7.30 a.m. and drive us from Anaheim to Hollywood. And we spent the day at Universal Studios Hollywood uh, because I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I had never been to the um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter in, in California. So it was exhausting. It was super fun. And I'm so tired. Um, so I got home quite late last night um, uh, to a snowstorm. And um, we had an interesting drive home from the airport. We made it just fine. But uh, there were several spin outs on our way home and one where a car spun out in front of us and started coming at us, which was uh, a little nerve wracking. But um, we made it. They were fine. Oh, it was all good. So, uh, so home again, snowed all day today. And I've just been doing a little catch up today. i uh, been busy um, helping customers take advantage of this awesome sale that started today, the seasonal sale. So uh, I wanted to share uh, one of the things that we do at these events is we uh, swap cards. I'm looking here to see where is my card? I lost something already. <laughs> Okay, so uh, when I, um, you were at the Perth event? Okay, awesome. Uh, I hope that was really fun, Sharon. Um, so, uh, lost something already. So when we gather for these events, all right, everybody take a drink. I haven't found it yet, but um, all right, hang on. I know where one is. <laughs> all right, found it. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. Let's close that. Don't need dogs bothering us during our event here. Um, so yeah, seasonal sale, Leslie. Oh my gosh. This is like uh, an amazing sale started today. I printed it out like 10 pages long. Um, it's annual catalog products. Uh, punches are on sale. Stamp sets are on sale. Designer paper that's not a specialty paper or part of a, a assortment is on sale. Punches are on sale. Dyes are on sale. Uh, lots of good deals. <laughs> so um, check that out. I've got it here. If anyone has any questions, I printed it out so that I could answer any questions you have. Okay, we got that. Found that. <laughs> Take a drink. So here we play the found it game. I always lose stuff. I'm stamping. I cover it up with the things I'm making and then I can't find it. So when I find it, we say found it and we all take a sip of our beverage. I'm drinking ice water tonight. Let me know what's in your cup. Maybe it's tea, coffee, wine, something stronger, uh, soda pop, uh, Gatorade, whatever you're drinking. Mm. Ah, 
so good. <laughs> so um, Jennifer, hey Jennifer, how are you? I'd like to say hello to my moderator, Jennifer Walsh. She's here to help us out tonight. If you have any questions and I missed your question, feel free to tag Jennifer by doing the um, uh, the at symbol and then type Jennifer and her name will pop up, Jennifer Walsh, and she can uh, answer you or flag me down so that we can catch your question. So anyway, all right, this was my swap card and I did a video on this um, uh, before I left and that went live on Saturday night. Can't There we go. I can't remember which way the camera is. Um, so this was my swap card and I've got water drinkers, tea, decaf, coffee. Awesome. Gatorade always for, is that Susan? That's gotta be Susan. Um, so I got, then got, um, I gave people my card and they gave me their card and um, treat holder, gift card holder, whatever uh, creation. And so we're going to be sharing some of those tonight. I've got a few more that we'll share on future videos. And I, <laughs> I always do this. I'm always last minute with my swaps. And so I actually, I had them all stamped and die cut and embossed. And then I assembled them at the airport and on the plane because, you know, that's what plane rides are for. <laughs> So uh, let's go ahead and get this party started and let me share some of the swaps that I got in exchange for mine. And I hope it inspires your creativity. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras here. There we go. Oh, look, a messy desk. Mm. We got stuff over here. Okay, so these are the other. So this was my swap card. And this one was the version that I did in the video. I think we did the white one, uh, but I also showed it in um, the, with the gray granite uh, leafy stems. So neutrals, very um, uh, kind of a clean and simple look, which I love. I love lots of white space. I really, really do. Um, and so very elegant, perfect for weddings, anniversaries, all sorts of things. And gray granite is such a lovely neutral. It's like a taupe. So let's go ahead and look at some of the cards I got in exchange. And some of them, mm, all right. So sometimes there's, okay, I think I got this. All right, good. Sometimes there'll be a business card in with the swap and it gets separated. So I, and sometimes they don't put their name in it. So I apologize if I show your card and I don't know your name, please let us know in the comments that it's your card. Um, this one is by Marcy Daniels and she used the wreath and it looks like she used the daubers to do different colors on the cottage wreath uh, stamp set. And then this is a fun fold card. So it opens up like that. And look at the cute little leaves and acorns that she's got right on the inside. So beautiful fall card from, again, that was from Marcy Daniels. And she even included an envelope. Typically with swaps, we don't include envelopes, but several people in the California event did. So maybe that's a, maybe that's a West Coast thing. I don't know. Um, it's pretty cool. I didn't do that with mine. I hope I didn't mess that up. Um, okay, this one, I just, a little piece of paper just fell out of something. So it might've been out of this one. Uh, I'm gonna say this might be from Faith Gallagher. And she used the host paper. So when you place an order of $150, you can get the host rewards uh, for your free products, or you can pick anything in the catalog. And this is a, a host rewards paper. It's really bright and colorful. And then she's got some glimmer paper here. Um, and then this label punch. So a uh, super cute card, kind of a uh, really bright and happy Christmas card there uh, from Faith. And then this one is really fun. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now I was going to check, um, this is one of the hybrid embossing folders. So it comes with the embossing folder that does the shells and the seaweed and the coral. Is that coral? whatever, I guess it's more just seaweed. Um, and then it, it also comes with a die that cuts that out. And I was just curious if that was part of the sale. So yeah, the Seashells 3D embossing folder is on sale for $7.20. Um, so that is part of the deal. And then 
I assume those dies are as well. Um, oh my gosh, like seriously, look at all these pages of things on sale. So punch is 10% off, stamps are 15% off. This is all, again, annual catalog, not the mini catalog. And then the dies are 20% off, which is amazing. And then embossing folders are 20% off as well. And designer series paper is 20% off. But again, it's not the specialty papers. This one is a specialty paper. We'll talk about that in a second. It's ones that don't have any gold or glitter on them. It's the, the regular papers. And then, um, and it does not include the assorted packs. So like the, the assorted in colors uh, that we used on this little guy, or not in colors, the assorted uh, color uh, group assortment packs, those would not be included in the sale. So I just didn't want anyone to get confused by that. Um, so this is the texture uh, chic designer paper. It's a specialty paper. You can see that pretty gold, but uh, so that's not part of the sale, but it's a great thing to have in your stash. So she made a sleeve and then this pulls out of the pocket where she's got some stamping. So um, super cute card from, I don't know who this is from. Oh dear. Well, this one might've been Faith Gallagher. I don't know. Let me see if a little piece of paper in there. Yeah, this one might've been Faith. Oh wait, here we go. Nope, this was from Deidre Corona. Thank you, Deidre. I love it. And so she used the gold foil, um, which is so impressive when you uh, do embossing. So absolutely gorgeous card from Deidre. This next one is from my friend Amy Coombs. And this is, you wonder how they got the shells so gold? Yeah, it's, it is the gold foil paper. Um, so not embossed, actually fairly simple to do. You emboss it in gold and then die cut it with the matching die. And yeah, really, you know, it looks so striking, but you didn't have to emboss it, heat emboss it or anything like that. This one is from my friend Amy Coombs. Um, and Amy used the uh, cherry punch. The cherry builder punch is part of the sale. Um, so again, all the punches are 10% off. So that cherry builder punch is going to be... Uh, normally it's $19. It's on sale for $17.10. Now this sale is only good through Friday. So uh, Friday here in the United States. Um, so I know it's already Wednesday in the, to our Australia friends. So uh, you don't want to sleep on this one. And when things um, go on back order, they're not available to order anymore. So I would suggest ordering sooner rather than later. Uh, but this is just a really uh, bright and colorful card from Amy Coombs. And even though it's on a neutral, uh, that cherry is just the pop of red is so perfect. And I love how she used the gingham and the red ribbon there, along with a little bit of the neutrals baker twine, which used the black color out of that pack. And again, she included an envelope. So super cool. All right, next up, we have a Christmas card. This one did not have a name on it. Um, and it was a brick embossing folder. That one's also going to be part of the special, the sale. Now the paper is from the mini catalog. So that's not part of the sale, but it's, I know a lot of you have that Bows of Holly designer series paper. She fussy cut out the poinsettia. And then she's got some um, elements here, I believe from those dies, the Holly dies um, that have just been die cut from the gold glitter paper and from garden green. So super striking card. Love that white space. I <laughs> love all that white space. So, um, super fun. All right. Next up, we have another one from the mini catalog. At least that's where the little dog's from. So freaking cute. You guys look how <laughs> cute with the little balloon on his tail and, uh, uh, he's being lifted right off the ground. Adorable. Um, I am not sure where this happy birthday one is from. I'm scanning my shelves while I talk. Uh, does anyone who's, this one is by Michelle Soot. Um, does anyone who is watching know which, uh, recognize this stamp set? I feel like this one might be from the annual catalog, which means it's probably part of the sale. Uh, but I'm scanning my shelves and I'm not seeing it. Doesn't mean it's not here, but I'm not seeing it. So, but I like the bold and happy uh, birthday uh, colors there. And this is actually, I think, just a circle made into a balloon with the baker's twine as the string there. So super cute card. Um, this one was actually a little gift card uh, with a gift from my uh, roomie, <laughs> Kelly Burkhart, my team member, Kelly. She used the... Um, 
Oh, come on, Susan. Come on, Susan. Sorry, my brain is not totally with it yet. I'm still I'm still in California. I'm still somewhere in between, I think. Um, this is the uh, fitted florets. No. Framed florets dies, the framed and festive um, stamp set. Um, so this is also the dies. And then she used the Lights of Glow designer paper, which this particular pattern to me is also really great for um, New Year's because of the black and the, the sparklies um, just reminds me of New Year's. And so super cute card from Kelly. So it wasn't really a swap card, but you get the gist. And then we have this one. Um, this one is again, the framed florets. So they use the heart uh, frame, which the heart frame um, cuts just a, an oval shape of little heart cutouts and you can then see through behind. Um, and this one was, I believe, by Jill Olson, if I remember correctly. Yep, this one was by Jill Olson. Jill has been a demonstrator for uh, almost 35 years. <laughs> jet lagged, I'm a little jet lagged. Yes, that is a good name for it. So um, it looks like the one from the Slimline set. Ooh, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's a big, bold, long, happy birthday. So mm, not sure. I'm still scanning my shelves and not finding it. But this card is beautiful with the pinks and a little bit of green and then the rose gold ribbon there, uh, rose gold and white striped ribbon. Um, so super cute card. Again, this is the um, Frame Florets collection. So this would be the bundle and then also those swirl self-adhesive pieces. Um, this bundle is available to pre purchase now. It's also going to be in the new mini catalog that comes out in January. Next up, we have this fun fold card. Now this one did not have a name on it. Darn it. Oh wait, there's a business card laying here. Okay, I think this might be by Mindy Clove. Um, and so this one stands up like that. How fun is that? So it gives you that kind of three-dimensional look um, as you're looking at it. And this is with the um, this one is die cut from the paper. So this paper is um, matches the candy cane dies and it's called Sweetest Christmas, I believe is the name of the paper. And then you can die cut to the candy cane right out of the paper. This is from the Christmas Banners Bundle. Now these are mini catalog products, so these are not going to be part of the sale, but super fun card from Mindy. And I like, I think this is a great fold that we should try. Um, uh, for another another video. What do you guys think? I think this would be a fun one to to do with that um, that fold. So let me set that one aside. I'm going to kind of slide that card in there. And then I have another one here that is also with that same um, bundle, the Sweetest Christmas um, paper. And then this one is actually the stamp um, from the Candy Cane. Mm. It's candy cane dies. I'm looking on my shelf to find the name of the set. Now, of course, is it on my shelf? Oh, yes, it's called Sweet Candy Canes, um, that bundle with the matching dies. And this is just a beautiful card. This is also a fun fold. So it opens up like that. So you've got this one piece right here and, um, and then that piece on the front. So that one is from... Who is that from? That one is from Marcy Besecker, and it's a beautiful card. So this will be another fold that would be fun for us to try in a future video. Uh, okay, let me grab the next one here. Um, actually, I've got three more. These are all fun folds. I pulled these out for last because you guys know how I love my fun folds. So this one, I don't even know what the stamp set is. Um, and they did some sponging, but I really liked the fold. Um, so this piece opens up like this. Reveal more trees on the inside. This piece open up, opens up like that. So this is like a kind of a standard card that's cut a little short. And then there's this portion that um, folds over. So I thought that would be a fun one for us to try on a future video. And that one had no name on it. Um, this next one also had no name on it. Now these names could have gone missing while I was traveling all over. Um, this one is another one with that Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper. And I believe this punch is from the mini catalog. Uh, but this is another fun fold. So this piece, and I think we've done this fold before. Um, this piece goes across here. And they actually just cut out a section here 
with the paper trimmer and that flips over. Or the other thing you can do is cut a piece um, to uh, and adhere it to the back to fold over. So that's another fun fold. And so many fun folds. Okay, so I've got one more to share. And then I thought we would go ahead and try and make this. Oh my gosh, my, my junk on my desk is trying to peek in on my screen. <laughs> Seriously, I had to like sweep a big spot just to be able to do this video tonight. Oh, goodness. Okay, so this card is from Julie Beltramo. Uh, Julie lives in uh, Hollister, California. And so this one is a fun fold and it opens up like this. So it's kind of like a Z fold card and then it has a full panel on the front. So we're going to make this one tonight, but with different papers. Um, she used the paper from the mini catalog, the, um, the harvest, um, harvest something paper. Jennifer, help. I don't know what it's called. Do you know what it's called, Jennifer? I'm sure Jennifer will be able to look that up for us. I'm totally blanking out. And she's got an, uh, a butter. I think the paper has a butterfly. I thought maybe that was like embossed on there, but I think that's already right on the paper. She's added some gems here and then has the die cut um, message there. So that one is... Um, again from Julie Beltramo. So we're going to uh, try Julie's cards. The flowers in black on um, the black background are very dramatic. They really pop, don't they? Um, so we're actually going to use a different designer paper. And because of the seasonal sale, I thought it would be fun to use a paper from the annual catalog that's on sale right now. So one of my favorites, and I know it's a favorite of a lot of you, and maybe you're running low. Maybe you need a little another package in your stash. Might as well pick it up now while it's 20% off, right? Um, so this is the Sun Prince Designer Series paper. This paper is um, comes in... Um, Okay, it comes in blues and uh, gray granite, and I'm pausing because we use this. Hang on, I can't find it. Ah, I found it. Found it. Take a drink, everyone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hydrating. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer found it. She's the best. Um, it is a rust, uh, rustic harvest designer series paper on page 49 of the mini catalog. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, and this sun prints paper, we use that for, uh, one of our cards for the curtain card, uh, fun fold. This was the craft noon featured fun fold for last month. Now, if you place an order here in November, you're going to qualify for the December, uh, craft noon event. So in December, I'll send a packet to you and you'll get to make one of the fun featured fun fold for that month. This is the curtain card fold. It was featured in October and this, uh, tutorial is now available with six different curtain call, call blah, 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 curtain call fun fold cards. <laughs> And that is available on my blog, suciumfield.com. Okay. Woohoo. But we're going to use, instead of using the gray granite um, sun prints paper, which I do love, we're going to use one of the patterns from the sun prints that's in the blues that are so beautiful. I have no idea what this card is going to look like because uh, we're making it up together, guys. <laughs> so, um, we're going to cut a portion of this paper to put on the front of this fun fold card. Now I have used, um, I have a video on my YouTube channel. It's an older video. So you'll have to go back. I think to, hmm, I don't even remember August maybe. Um, and I did a whole bunch of cards with the sun print suite, um, including how to use this part of the paper that doesn't have pattern on it. Um, I embossed it with the fern embossing folder. And when you do that, the white core shows through and it's absolutely striking. So don't think that this part is, is wasted <laughs> um, because it is absolutely beautiful. So let's do a little, again, we are, we're making this up as we go along. So we're going to deconstruct, um, it's Julie, right? We're going to deconstruct Julie's swap card here. So this designer series paper um, uh, piece on the front is five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter. And then she has a layered piece behind it of just a little bit of white. Um, and that is four and an eighth by, I'm going to guess five and three eighths. And then we have the card base. So the card base is eight and a half by 
five and a half, and then it is scored at mm -hmm, two and an eighth and four and a quarter. All right. I am not going to remember all that. So we're going to measure that a couple more times. So if you're not going to remember either, don't worry. We'll do it together. So let's grab some paper. I love Knight of Navy. Any other Knight of Navy fans out there? I'm I'm in a Knight of Navy mood tonight. So we're going to go Knight of Navy and basic white. And let's grab a... Uh-oh. Mm, where did my paper trimmer go? Ah. Found it. Well, this is one of them. I have several. Okay. Found it. Everybody take a sip. <laughs> take a sip. Take a sip. Hmm. Um, Jennifer, which one are we looking at? Was that the one with the dog and the balloon that we're still trying to find that happy birthday? This one, I recognize it. Like I remember it. It might even be a retired set. It could, could be, it's, it's possible. It's not current. Um, I did get a couple swaps that had retired products on them. Um, so that is certainly possible, but I don't know. It's, yeah, you know what? I think it is Slim Sayings, and I'm not sure if Slim Sayings carried over or not. That was from the spring catalog. So I still have it on my shelf, even though I'm not sure if it's still current. Um, yeah, whoever said they thought it was the one from the, I think it is this one from Slim Sayings. So Jennifer, do you want to see if that still, if that one is in the annual catalog? I'm not sure if it is or not. So it's got nice big words on it, which is nice. But maybe you've got that. If it is retired, maybe you've got it in your stash. So, um, yes, dogs and loon. Okay. All right. Night of Navy fans. Woohoo! Night of Navy fans unite. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to start with that white layer. Um, she did uh, four and an eighth, if I recall correctly, by five and three eighths. So, I'll start with the five and three eighths. And then we'll cut it at four and an eighth. Again, we're cutting this, start going from scratch on this one. All right, so I've got that piece cut. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my card base and then we'll get our designer paper cut. So the card base was five and a half. I remember that part. <laughs> uh, and I think it was eight and a half. So I think that's pretty easy. Don't remember the scorings though. I think it was, oh, maybe I do. Yeah, I do remember. I think it was two and an eighth. It's kind of a standard uh, Z fold type card. So if I mess it up, I've got this whole other half of the, of the Navy, right? <clears throat> and we can fix it, right? We can fix anything, can't we? Or we can throw it away and do it over. All right, two and an eighth, and I'm going to score it. And then I'm going to score it again at four and a quarter. So five and a half by eight and a half scored at two and an eighth and then four and a quarter. And then we've got one more piece to cut. Okay, I think I don't need think I, need, I don't need that. All right, well, I might need it for something, but actually I probably need something for the inside of the card, don't I? All right. So I'm just trying to decide. I think I'm going to use this piece right here. I think I could get probably three cards out of this um, using the pattern. So I'm going to cut this at four. Some sayings is a retired set. Thank you for uh, investigating that for us, Jennifer. Appreciate it. All right. And then we're going to go to five and a quarter right here. All right. Sounds like the food is here. I am being a lazy mom tonight, and I ordered DoorDash for Joe and I. Hubby is working late tonight, so it's a DoorDash kind of night for us. All right. So that you can see that's going to give us a nice little frame of white behind. And then we have our Knight of Navy base here. And then I do need, why did I put that away? Because I'm going to need a piece to go on the inside of the card, aren't I? Let's do that. We're going to cut it at four by five and a quarter for the inside of the card. Oh, 
Hopefully I got that right. All right. If not, we can fix it, right? All right, let's put this aside for now. I've now covered up all sorts of things that I probably am going to want. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll fold um, on the five on the center uh, score line. That was the four and a quarter score line. Crease on that, and then now we're gonna fold this one backwards. So accordion folding that. And for those of you in the live comments, Jennifer is very kindly dropping in the dimensions for our card. This is the card base that we're working with right now. And then she also has the white layer and the designer series paper size is right there. Thanks so much, Jennifer. And Sun Prince is on page 91 of the catalog. Thank you, Jennifer. So this is going to go right on here. Oh, so pretty, you guys. So pretty. So we're going to go ahead and layer this. Um, now, this was the adhesive I took on the plane. It's getting a little low. Let's see how we go. I'm not sure what the... <laughs> Uh, the people next to me were a little confused by what I was doing. Uh, the man next to me um, offered to buy all the cards I was making, and I said no. <laughs> and the stewardess said, where did you buy those cards? And I was like, I didn't buy them. I made them. <laughs> all right, so we've got that layered onto our piece of white, and then we're going to layer it onto our card base. So um, a knight of navy. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead. Sorry, I was distracted by a comment there. Um, I want to adhere this, but I only want to adhere one side of it. Does that make sense? I, if I put adhesive all over it, I'm going to glue my card shut, and that's not going to make us very happy, is it? So I'm going to actually go ahead and put the adhesive on here so that I don't inadvertently uh, make a mistake there and get it too far over. So we'll just put some sticky stuff right there. And then this is a very skinny 16th of an inch border on our card. So that's going to open up like that. And then we have this piece that's going to go inside our card. Now I really like how Julie put in a piece of designer series paper here. And actually, can you see this? She did not cut a four by five and a quarter like I did. She die cut this with the stitched rectangle dies. That is a huge um, selection, a huge variety of dies and includes one that um, is the whole uh, front of a card um, already to go with that pretty stitching. That one is part of the sale. Woohoo! All right, so I, um, I'm i cheating and I'm just going to do this one, but I do like having that little strip of paper. So we're going to do that. We're going to go back to our paper here and we're just going to pick another pattern from the pack. I'm going to grab this one. It's right on top. And cut a little half inch strip this it could be half inch it could be uh three fourths inch it could be even skinnier doesn't really matter but it's just a nice little way to to carry that pattern from the front of the card through to the inside so it is nice and attractive um and that piece was four inches okay all right so we've got our little piece here and that's going to go across the bottom. Now I'm hoping that you all will help me decide on our sentiments for this card. I would like this card to be a sympathy card um, or a healing card. Uh, those sympathy or people that are struggling with an illness, those cards are hard to do. And so it's nice to have, I, I like having ideas for those cards um, and having some even on hand. So I'm hoping that you all will help me figure out what we want to do for our sentiment on this. Now, Julie added a little bit of twine around here, which you absolutely could do twine or ribbon. She just wrapped it right around that Z fold piece. Um, we probably won't be adding that on this one because I feel like there's enough going on in that paper, but we could, 
we might, we'll see how we go. Um, so we have some options. One option is the, the stamp set um, that goes with this. Now, here's one of the weird things about this sale that I want to caution you about. Um, normally, we are conditioned, those of us that are used to Stampin' Up!, to always buy the bundle because the bundle um, is an automatic 10% off and is savings, right? Um, with this sale right now, you don't want to buy the bundle because the dies are on sale and the stamps are on sale. So it's actually a better bargain if you purchase the stamps separately and you purchase the dies separately. And that only goes for things that are in the annual catalog. So we could do um, the, the set that matches this, um, this paper that's part of that suite. We could do your on my mind and um, die cut it with the matching die. And that could be what goes on the front of our paper or our piece. And that's what I did on the curtain call card. So this is our stage. This is our curtain and it raises up to reveal the inside. And that's that same set. So if you want to know what that you're on my mind looks like, that's what it looks like. And so that could be for, you know, sympathy or illness or really a lot of different things. It actually could be for birthday as well. So that would be one option. Or we could go with straight up sympathy we're going to look at some stamp sets here from the annual catalog that are all good sympathy options. I have cards falling everywhere. Oh my goodness. I've got a little Santa box falling over. I'll show you that on a different video. I've got a couple of treat holders, gift card holders that I'll show you uh, as swaps that I sh I'll show you in our next video um, or a future video, maybe, I don't know, but soon. Um, so we, these are all ones that are going to be part of this um, sale. Um, so these are all discounted. They're 15% off. So we've got Peaceful Moments, which is one of my go-tos. This one has been around for quite a while and it has the With Deepest Sympathy um, in, um, sentiment in it. Really nice. And then we have um, Through It Together. I love this set because I love the sending you this paper hug uh, sentiment. That's just an awesome, awesome stamp. Um, I've used that one just a ton. I also really like praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. Um, so that's another good one. Lots of other um other nice sentiments in here. You are loved today and always. Um, get well soon. Uh, lots of good ones in here. It's kind of one of those um, supportive stamp sets, uh, supportive sentiments. And then we have Inspired Thoughts. Um, inspired Thoughts um, has a sending healing thoughts your way. And it also has um, with heartfelt sympathy. And then a nice inside um, uh, sheltering you with love at a time when words fall, fall short. Um, so uh, just some really nice ones. Actually has a nice Christmas sentiment as well. Um, so gosh, all right. That's a lot of options I just threw at you. I'm going to help you out. Um, let's hold off on the through it together. We might, unless we decide to do it on the inside of a card. Um, we could do, uh, let's see. I love the curtain call fold two. Um, so we've got, this is a good one. This, all right, I'm gonna narrow it down. I'm gonna put, a, put aside peaceful moments. Although if we go with nature print, nature's prints and do um, you're on my mind, we could do this on the inside of the card. So I'm gonna narrow it down for you to two choices. Should we use nature's prints or should we use inspired thoughts? Let me know in the comments which one you would prefer. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to go ahead and adhere the inside piece. So again, uh, nature's prints or inspired thoughts. And you can you can truncate that. You can say prints or thoughts or <laughs> nature's or thoughts. We'll know what you mean. We'll figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this and go ahead and stick it on the inside of the card. Get that nice and lined up in there. All right. And you know I'm going to use navy on this, right? Um, I think inspired thoughts is, um, yeah, Janine, that's a good point. Thinking of you so you can decide later, later whether it's sympathy or not. Yeah, if you don't know for sure what the card's going to be, it's a good old uh, you're on my mind or thinking of you is a nice safe way to go. Um, inspired Thoughts was the winner here. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, I have a project sheet that I can send out. Now I just sent out the project sheet email 
um, <laughs> this morning at 3 a.m. when I finally got it done. Um, so if you signed up for my project sheets, you should have gotten that. If you're not signed up for the project sheets and you would like some creative inspiration in your inbox, you can sign up for that at on my blog, suestampfield.com and click on subscribe. Um, and then I have a project sheet. I wonder, let me see if I can, sh let me see if I can share my screen. <clears throat> Technology doesn't always work for me. Let's see, window, Chrome tab, Boom. it's a window. All right. Hmm. I don't think I can figure out how to do it. Um, anyway, I have a, it's Forever Fern um, and it's a sympathy card. And so um, I don't know. Let me just try this. Oops, wrong camera. So sorry, you guys are so patient with me. Uh, share screen, share screen. Oh, that's not the screen I wanna share. All right, I'll have to figure that out for next time. Um, anyway, it's a project sheet was done by a, a different demonstrator. Um, uh, and I'd have to check on her name too. So we'll definitely hold that one for an, another time. But she used this inspired thoughts and it was a beautiful card to combine with Forever Fern. Uh, lovely sympathy card. So let's um, go ahead and hide that. Let's go back and finish our card here. Okay, what were we doing? Um, we were going to do the, look, I don't even have, oh, Susan is so lazy. What a lazy stamper. She doesn't even have her, doesn't have her stickers on. I've got them on a couple of them. And with heartfelt sympathy is one of them along with sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. So guess what? We're going to use those two. Not that you need the labels on the back to make them work, right? Don't even need that. So um, let's go ahead and stamp these. We're going to need an ink pad. So of course, we're going to go with our Knight of Navy ink pad. One of my favorites. And sticky. sorry about that. Let's grab a piece of basic white. I'm trying to find one that's not massively huge. This is pretty massively huge, but not. Okay. I'm sure I've got white scraps all over my desk, you guys. I mean, seriously. Probably a bazillion there, but I'm not finding one that's the right size right now. All right. You know what? Here we go. Here we go. Found it. Take a drink. <laughs> Hmm. So you subscribe to the blog, Teresa. There's two different options when you go to subscribe. You can subscribe. You want to. Um, uh, you can choose to subscribe to the blog, and you can choose to subscribe to the project sheets. You can pick and choose. So yeah, you would want to go back there and just select um, project sheets. If you are not getting the project sheets, you're going to want to add my email address to your contacts. That will signal your email provider that uh, you do want those emails. Um, you can also search your email uh, for my uh, email address because sometimes they are there and they just are hiding them from you. Um, so that is Susan at SueStampfield.com is my email address. So do a search. So we're going to go ahead and stamp. Oh, I put the wrong one. I need this one. Let's get that on a block. It's super cute and tiny. It's heartfelt sympathy right here. There we go. And then this one can actually go right on the inside. Mm. I'm going to make sure that I'm inking it up properly. I've already glued down my paper, so I can't flip anything over here. This is a one and done, uh, but you know what? We can always cut a cut or punch or die cut a strip and cover it up if I mess it up, right? All right, that's fine. I am fine with that. Sheltering you at a time, sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. Um, and then we're going to go back to our sympathy. Oh, wait, we already did it. Come on, Susan, get with the program. All right, we need to punch or die cut this. So let's see what we got, you guys. Um, this is one of my favorite punches. This is the oval punch, oh, the double oval. This one would be on sale because they all are. 
looks a little small though. Um, not sure if that's going to fit. This is the um, rectangle. I think it's called a postage stamp punch. Um, do you know, Jennifer, uh, if you could check the punches in the catalog and let me know. I'm looking at my list as well. Rectangular postage stamp punch, it's called. That one would work. Um, obviously, I'm going to trim this down a little bit, but that, that would work. It's um, plenty big, but this one might also work. So I'm going to just, um, <clears throat> just chop a little bit off here so that we can get in here a little better. Absolutely could use a die. Again, you've got all those dies at 20% off. So many choices. We could use even this die that comes with the... Um, the Nature's Prince bundle, or you don't want a bundle right now though, right? You want to order just the individual items and get that sale. Oh, look at that, you guys. It's perfect. All right, we're going to go with this double oval punch. It's got less extra than the uh, rectangle one. And then I'd also punched uh, the layer so we might use that too. Let's decide what we think. So I'm going to put these back in the shelf so that they don't get lost. All right, let's take a look here. I'm going to throw some things on the floor. That's pretty much how we roll around here. So this is what it would look like with the layer behind. And we would, of course, pop that up in a dimensional. And this was what it would look like without the layer. I actually think I like it better without the layer, but I'm going to let you guys decide layer or no layer. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and put a dimensional on the back of this because regardless which way we go, we're going to need a dimensional on the back of it. And my dimensionals have gone missing. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Hang on. I had them on the plane with me. Aha. Uh -huh, found them. <laughs> Found it. Take a sip, everybody. Found it. Mm. Ah, it's good water. All right, what do we got? Layer, no layer, no layer, layer, no layer, 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 layer. Hmm. It seems like we've got, yeah, cheers to you too. <laughs> it seems like there is kind of a um, even split on um, whether it's layer or no layer. So... I've now dropped the Mitchells on the ground, but I picked them up. So, so there's no layer. There's with the layer. Yeah, both are nice. Um, uh, I'm going to make a, a, a executive decision since it's an even split. I'm going to try it without the layer. And pop that on. Now, of course, you could put... Um, Put a few gems on here if you wanted to. Uh, you could put them right on the paper. I'm going to ask you if you think we should do gems or no gems. Um, I know it's a sympathy card, so gems might feel like an interesting choice, but they can be very elegant and, and um, not obtrusive. But you let me know in the comments if you think we should add gems or if we should just say it's done that our card is finished. So let me know in the comments. Yep, it looks like the majority right now say no gems for the sympathy card, but you absolutely, oh, heart pearls, a couple of people are saying, um, where you could add a little bit of love there with some heart pearls, which would be, absolutely lovely. Um, you could also do uh, the elegant gems, which are uh, have the clear option. Um, so those would be kind of unobtrusive, but we'll go with what the majority uh, rules um, that it's uh, um, a lot are saying pearls would be a nice touch. Um, we'll leave it as is because that is, I think, what the majority have voted for. Uh, but pearls or rhinestones would be a great addition. So um, I can always do, uh, I'll do a project sheet for this one and I can do an option that has some gems on it so that you can see what that would look like. But that is our card today. So again, shout out to Julie uh, Beltramo for uh, inspiring us tonight with her fun fold swap that she 
uh, gave me at the Anaheim um, on stage convention for Stampin' Up. So um, at that convention, we received the new catalog that will be coming out in um, January. So um, we'd love to see that in A2 scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A2 scale um, would actually be very easy to adapt with this one because um, you would cut your A2 card in half and then you would score it in half and then in half again. Hopefully that makes sense. So it should be easily adaptable to the um, the other size cardstock. Here in the US, we use letter size, which is eight and a half by 11, but in Europe and in the South Pacific, they use a different size card, uh, cardstock. So, but this one would be super easy to adapt. Let me flip the camera here. There we go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight, everyone. Thanks for joining me and letting me share these fun swap cards I got and uh, for helping me create our lovely card tonight. I love it. So thanks for helping me uh, design that. And um, I said found it six times tonight. I bet I think my record is eight, right, Jennifer? <laughs> it's not too bad considering how brain dead I am right now. So thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. So great to see you. Again, don't forget uh, that seasonal sale is a limited time only. It's only good till Friday, but things will start selling out, particularly dies that are 20% off, especially the, the bigger die sets that are such a good value, like the rectangular um, uh, shaped dies and so forth. So uh, happy shopping. Uh, love to save money on our favorite craft, right? Take care, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.